In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the marking guide in a Moodle assignment. So the first thing you need to do is navigate to your Moodle course and turn editing on and create an assignment. I've already got the assignment created and so I'm just going to go to edit and edit settings. But if you're creating your assignment now, then go down to the grade section and choose uh, enter in your point value and then under grading method you want to select marking guide. That's all, the only thing I'm going to change here and hit save and display. And so now uh, a marking guide is something, a rubric is, is the most complex and the simple direct grading is the most simple. The marking guide is something that's in between. And so here I'm just going to click this button to define a new one. And I'm just going to call this marking grade exa example. And down here is where you create your marking guide. And so uh, the first thing you want to do is to uh, decide what your what criterion what criteria you're going to grade with. And so, for instance, on this, I'm going to do uh, introduction. And then the description for your students is. Uh, tell you're telling your students what's required and so I'm going to say one paragraph good thesis statement introduces the paper something something like that and then you can uh, put in a description for markers uh, if you had a, a grader this is what this is where you would put that in uh, I know we don't typically have graders so I'm just going to skip that and then the score would be uh, what you, how much you want that to be worth. So if I wanted the, the introduction to be worth 20 points, then I would just click that in there. If that's the only thing I wanted, then I would just save it. But I'm going to put in something else. I'm going to put in, say, a body. And then for the description for students, I'm going to say three paragraphs. Good transition statements. effectively supports the thesis, etc. And so the again the description for markers would be what's for the graders and then the maximum score I could say 60 and then um, I could add a uh, conclusion and I could you know effectively Includes the paper, restates thesis, etc. And I can put in a maximum score. And so now I've got um, 100 points there. If I wanted to do it that way, that would be kind of an oversimplification. This right here, the frequently used comments, is something that you can add if there's something, a problem you see every time, something that you uh, always want to communicate to students. So maybe uh, thesis is not measurable or, or something like that. Um, so you could add that as a as a frequently used comment or uh, great transition statements. Some things that you uh, you know as a an instructor that you see uh, often you can use those and then you can quickly use those to grade. So now I'm just going to uh, save this. And now uh, I'm going to show you what it looks like whenever I grade it. So I'm going to click grade. So now the uh, submission screen is loaded up and this student did not submit anything. So I'm going to filter this to uh, requires grading. I'm going to find the student that student or students that have, have submitted something. Okay, so I'm looking at Matt test. I'm looking at his paper, so you can see uh, the submission status over here on the right, uh, the, the paper itself. And so over here on the grading pane, you can see the marking guide. And so you can see what we just entered in there. So I can give any, any sort of other comments I want to give. And I can give a, a certain grade there. And in here, I can use this button and say great transition statements and more comments. And I can give a grade there. 
a 50 out of 60, and then the conclusion, I can, you know, concluding comments. So you can add whatever you want it into. So this is kind of a blend between a rubric and simple direct grading, and you can give a grade here. And then um, this, the feedback comments, again, this is what goes in the grade book. And so uh, out to the right of their grade. So I'm going to click Save. And OK. And so now after I save it, you'll notice that the current grade in the grade book is now 85. It's the sum of 15 plus 50 plus 20. And so this is, this is uh, the marking guide from the instructor side. And I'm going to log in as a student, show you what it looks like from their side. All right, now I'm logged in as Matt Test as a student. And so now you, this is the feedback. Uh, whenever they click on the assignment, this is what they see. Um, they will see, of course, above this, they would see, you know, their submission status and things like that. But down at the bottom, below that, then you will get this feedback. And so you see it's exactly what we gave them, one paragraph, good thesis statement. And so, um, and it says who grades it in their grade. And so this is what students see. So this is the marking guide in Moodle uh, to use with Moodle assignments, and I hope that you will use it. And of course, if you have any questions, feel free to contact me.